All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome to week two of the vlog, season two, and uh, it's Monday. We're back out here, uh, getting ready to do some work. We got uh, those Lexus wheels, the bike frame, and uh, the crossbow compressor piece, all finished up last week. Um, in fact, finished a couple of the piece, smaller pieces for the stuff up last night. And uh, now it's Monday morning and we're doing some more stuff. So this week we have uh, our first set of brake calipers actually. So first things first, we are going to work on getting these things stripped down so that we can sandblast them and get on our way with that. So first things first, let's get these pistons and seals out of here. Okay, there we are. First one is disassembled, so that was pretty easy. Now we'll just uh, work on getting the rest of these apart. <sighs> well, I think after trying that, I think I'm going to have to just hopefully try to find some long nose pliers for that because I can't get that clip out of there so I guess we will uh, go do a couple other things and when we're out going to the gym we will stop back by O'Reilly's and see if they have those because yeah that's uh, those aren't coming out at all so all right onward What is up everybody? Welcome back to the night shift here. We actually have a pretty decent uh, Wednesday here. It's about 40 degrees right now. Um, and like I said, we're back at the night shift. So basically for most of the day, um, you know, I went to the gym, I worked out, got all that stuff done, knowing that tonight I would be working because, boom, Amazon came through, got some uh, super long, deep well snap ring pliers. Uh, which helped me get those brake calipers the rest of the way apart, the rear ones for the Honda Civic. And so I was actually going to film something on that. And basically I was like, well, let's try them, see if they work. And it took me like literally 37 seconds to have both those completely apart and ready to go. So we hit them with our first blast. Just, just are waiting for them to come out of the oven here from outgassing. And then we'll hit them with a second blast and they'll be ready to coat tomorrow. So... Super excited, we actually got to do some work today. And uh, yeah, let's see what we got for the rest of the night shift. Let's, let's do some blasting and, and get these things ready. Okay, so the red came out good. Um, basically we sprayed this whole thing red just to do the letters in red. Uh, since it just came out of the oven, we'll let it cool down, took us down about 100 degrees. We'll put the gray color on, and then we'll take a damp rag and carefully wipe the letters off. And then after we wipe them off with a damp rag, we use the good old finger and finish it up. So, should come out okay. This is my first time trying the white method, so we'll see how it goes. Now 
that starts the tricky process. Okay, so basically we got these calipers all coated today. Now, I had them coated once and I actually tried to uh, build one and what ended up happening was knocking the piston around in here, I chipped the powder all up. Uh, not thinking, I didn't put any tape on it or anything, I just was, oh, it's powder, it's tough. Um, but metal on metal still eventually will chip it away. So, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put some tape on here and then start putting the seals in and I actually went back double coated um, the couple that I chipped up because there was one I hit on the shelf when I took it out of the oven and then this one like I said I chipped it up trying to put the piston in um, so I actually went back and uh, second coated those two and then put um, I put clear coat on everything so it should be a little tougher so now we're gonna try to rebuild this, which is something I haven't really ever done very much. I've seen it done a few times. Uh, looked up a lot of internet videos, but haven't actually done it. So we're gonna give it a shot here and see how it goes. But first things first, we're putting some tape in there so that, that way we don't screw it back up. So the old air trick worked pretty good. Piston's in there now. Doesn't look like we nicked it up hardly at all. Maybe just a smidge right here, right around the seal. But I mean, for my first go around, I'm gonna call it okay. And uh, yeah, now we'll put the caliper bracket back together and, and we'll be good. All right, so. Let's talk about the projects from this week. Uh, the brake caliper job we just finished up today. I went and got the last seal, put it together. Customer's on his way to pick them up. Uh, the valve covers, let's talk about those. Now, sometimes you get jobs that you think are gonna be easy and they're hard. So these valve covers started off as a real easy job. They were already sandblasted for me, everything was cool. We uh, coated or outgassed, blasted them, coated them the first time wanted to do a two-tone letters one color and the rest of the valve cover another color now the problem we have is that a lot of these pieces we're doing are stamped um, and they're not indented stamped they're extruded stamped letters and they're basically bubble letters so there's not like a real definitive line so you're kind of making the lines up as you go when you coat these things and try to cut out the tape and everything around them well I thought I had a new technique that would work with wiping it off obviously that didn't work um, so I tried to do the tape thing, uh, had a couple blemishes in it, um, in the silver finish, the red that the letters were going to be, that was absolutely flawless, silver had a, had a few blemishes, so we uh, uh, tried to second coat and fix a couple of the blemishes, 
and the tape I put on over the letters the second time ended up screwing that up. Um, so we blasted them back down, tried one more time, and what ended up happening this time is I think, what it basically did was it, 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 it wrinkled the powder completely. So what I think ended up happening was the red powder that I was doing the base coat with that the letters are going to be, um, the gray powder we put over top of it baked at a hotter temperature and what I think it did was actually wrinkled the, um, uh, the actual red powder underneath it and that wrinkled the top coat obviously and it just created a huge thing. So now it's Saturday. Uh, I should have had this job done like Wednesday or Thursday and we're still screwing around with them, stripping them off one more time. I've talked to the customer. We're going to completely negate the two-tone thing. We're just going to just gonna hit the uh, hit it with the silver color and that's it. So um, I've got one of them stripped down. I've got a second one I'm doing right now. It's a complete fiasco because stripping off two coats of powder coat is just not fun at all. And I've got a bunch more hours into these than I want. And I'm hoping everything works out with the silver color this time because if not, I'm going to be quite upset. But it should. So anyway, that's what we're doing right now. And yeah, I'm going to get back to stripping because I need to get these finished. Well, if we didn't have bad luck, we wouldn't have any luck on this project. Uh. Okay, so basically, the second time I tried to do these valve covers with the two-tone, um, and it didn't work out, I, uh... Was trying to hustle the process up because I'm leaving Wednesday to go to uh, go out west to California and stuff. So, in trying to hustle the process up, uh, instead of spending hours and hours stripping off three coats of powder because we had uh, the red, the silver, and the clear, I decided to try and use a chemical stripper, uh, aircraft paint remover, and. That takes off the top couple layers, which just leaves you with one, so that's fine. Um, but what I must have done is there were some spots where I didn't uh, clean all the way down to bare metal. I got the top couple layers off, left the last layer. What must have happened is the chemical soaked into that last layer, and when we heated it up, it came out in the top finish. So now I have to redo them again. It's now Sunday. And I leave Wednesday morning at like 5 in the morning. So, we're in trouble. I better get to work.
Hopefully these come out this time. Now it's time for the next project. Okay, so this showed up this afternoon and like I said, me being the guy I am. Oh sure, I can sneak this in before I leave. So this is a uh, old GT BMX bike frame and sprocket. Guy wants it anodized blue. So, after this stuff's done baking, we're gonna get the sandblaster ready here and try to get this blasted tonight. All right, we finally got these bad boys done. Okay, cool, so we'll wrap up this week. It has definitely been a trying week between those valve covers taking four tries to do, the issues I had with the brake calipers, it's been a long week. Um, I've currently got that bike frame outgassing in the oven, uh, so I'm hoping that that will finish up tonight here, and then I can get it final blast and ready to go, so tomorrow we can coat it first thing in the morning. Um, but wow, whew, what a week. It has been stressful, as it always is, trying to get stuff done before you go out of town for any period of time, um, but especially for as long as I'm going with 10 days, so really stressful we've got job scheduled for when we get back i'm excited to go on a trip get out of town mostly get out of the cold that's the biggest part for me but uh thanks for tuning in to another week of the vlogs guys um we will see everybody next week which is going to be a little bit of a mix because obviously we're going to have a little bit of work at the beginning of the week and then it's going to be travel vlog the rest of the week so that's what we're doing 